Greetings everyone, I'm Yosho and welcome to the Q&A. The Q&A for 100 subscribers. But, that's not all we have today, because not in my hands, but digitally, I have a $10 eShop card waiting to claim its rightful owner. That's right, stick to the end of the video to find out how you can win a $10 eShop card. Hello everyone, I'm Yosho and I'm so excited to get into this q and I do have just enough questions to make this video decent length. There's some lengthier questions I can get into, so I'm excited to get into those. And let's just get on with the Q&A. So, the first one we have comes from the Cyan Acid Ball. And he says, which games should have gotten in Mega Mix? What's your opinion on the two, two games in the Rhythm Heaven series? So he's of course referring to Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Now, my opinion on what games should have got in Mega Mix, um, I'm happy with all the games that got in except for Quiz. Like, fuck Quiz, okay? Quiz does not deserve to be in Mega Mix. If that's true, the Mega Mix of all the best games, Quiz should not be in it. But I definitely would have liked to see them put in, um, Toss Boys, um, Bonadori, uh, Polyrhythm can stay away, to be honest. Um, let's see. Uh, DS-wise, I would have loved to see, um, oh, what is it, what is it, Drummer Duel, um, I would also have loved to see, I'm looking at my poster for references, um, DJ Squad, I would have loved to see DJ Squad and Crop Stomp, those are the ones from DS. Um, we, I'm pretty content with all the games that got in from Fever, and, uh, yeah, so my opinion on the two games in the Rhythm Heaven series. By this, he means, like, there's Sneaky Spirits and there's Sneaky Spirits 2, which is a more of a challenge, you know? Um, I'm fine with them. Um, they're all pretty fun. Um, good challenge added on, especially in Rhythm Tengoku. The two games are not messing around in that one. Alright, our next question is a another Rhythm Heaven question. Uh, Theo asks, what is your least favorite Rhythm Heaven character? My least favorite Rhythm Heaven character. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> with the previous question, Ratman. I wanted to see Ratman in Mega Mix, but that didn't happen. Anyway, so, my least favorite Rhythm Heaven character. Probably... Uh, God, that's tough, because I don't really hate any Rhythm Heaven characters. Sure, I hate some of the games, but I don't hate a lot of the characters. So I'm trying to go through my brain here and figure out which one I really despise. Hmm. Probably the Dazzles. Like, I don't like the Dazzles minigames, and they're cute and all, but I just can't stand them. So I'm sorry, but any one of the Dazzles are my least favorites. Alright. Next up, we got from Topperson. He says, what is 1 plus 1? Well, you see, Topperson, you think about smarting me here, but you have it! You see here, 1 plus 1 could be taken in a lot of ways. It could be taken as 1 plus 1 equals 2, but it doesn't just equal 2. Because you see, if you put 1 and 1 together, that makes 11. And what is 11 plus 9 equal? That's 20. So where did I get the 9 from you, my ass? Well, you take a 2 away from 11 and you get 9. 9, 11? Could it be a coincidence that this cause 9, 11? Could have been. But wait a second, it couldn't have. So remove the 9, remove the 9. Minus 9 from 11, we have 2 again. But 2 isn't the correct answer. So what I'm trying to say here is, 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 is... I don't know! Our next question is... What are your top 10-ish favorite games from Crow JF? Well, Mr. J, as I call you IRL, this is a tough one for me. Um, number one is definitely Undertale, no doubt about that. Undertale has been my favorite game for at least three or four years now, and it's probably not going to change. Number two is Super Mario Sunshine, a very nostalgic game for me. Um, love playing through it whenever I get the chance. Um, number three is probably Rhythm Heaven Fever. I really enjoyed Fever out of all the Rhythm Heaven games. It's probably my favorite. Um, number four probably goes to To the Moon. To the Moon made me cry a bunch. And it just it gave me a lot of emotional things that I needed to get out of my system. Um, five is most likely... Trying to look around for inspiration on what number five could be, but I don't know. Um, number five is probably Pokemon Silver. That was actually one of the first video games I ever played, if not the first one, if my memory doesn't serve or serves me correctly. 
Um, where are we at? Number six, man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. There's a bug on my foot. That was scary. Um, let's see here. Number six is probably Smash Ultimate. Um, I haven't played it a lot recently, but obviously I still love it and I'm hyped for whatever characters. Number seven is Minecraft. I for sure know that. Great game, great nostalgic game. Play it all the time. You know how it is. Um, number eight is probably Cuphead. Really love Cuphead. I adore the style and it's just, it's top notch. Um, number nine is probably... Hmm. I give number nine to... I would give number nine Earthbound for sure. Earthbound made me cry a lot as well. Got a lot of emotions out. And then number ten is Friday Night Funkin'. I know it's a recent game, but I've fallen in love with the art style and everything about it. All right. Our final two questions come from SCP Gamer. His first question is: God dead? Yes. He's been deceased for a while. I mean, he would be dead if he existed. And is Mario Galaxy one or two better? Two. One is great, but two just does everything better than Galaxy One does by like times ten. All right, now that we've got the Q and A over with, let's find out how you can win your own ten dollar eShop card. So, all you have to do to win this card, first of all, I've ordered it on Amazon, so I have the digital code on Amazon that's ready to give away to whoever wins the giveaway. All you have to do is comment below your favorite part from any of my videos, and you will automatically be entered into the drawing. Now I imagine not a lot of people will sign up for this like giveaway, so I would prioritize it now and sign up for it while you can. Because in the end there's probably only going to be 9 or 10 people in the giveaway, so a free $10 eShop card is a free $10 eShop card. And as I get more subscribers, maybe the amount of eShop card money will grow up to 20, 50, 100 even. I don't know, 500 subscribers is our next milestone, so if I get to 500, we'll do a $20 giveaway for eShop cards. Well, anyway, that's an end of my 100 subscriber special. Sorry it was a bit lackluster, but I think it's good for now. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and peace out.